Hello, hello, good evening everyone! Magandang gabi at di na tayo nagpaabot sa pamorningan. I hope that uh, you're all uh, there waiting. Alam kong this past few days are quite empty dahil di ako nag di ako live. Talagang sinadya ko po to, to prepare my voice and of course to study this particular this particular thought experiment and this is uh, especially a request from one of my friends a birthday girl last Sunday so dahil international cat day nung Sunday at ngayon lang ako nakapag <laughs> ngayon lang pag live so belated international cat day sa mga cat lovers so ayan before anything else I am Coach Juriel or Coach TJ, whichever it is easier to say. I'm a certified CACC professional life coach from Life Coach Philippines. I'm a certified martial arts instructor and a marine engineer by profession. I help people navigate through life and love through coaching, classes, and services that includes responsible online dating. I'm a scholar of Master Coach A for public speaking, and this episode is titled Schrodinger's Kitty, The Mind Twister. So this is a request from M Stein. Birthday niya nung ano, nung nakaraan lang and to complete the experimented animals of the thought experiments segment that I do every week. So meron kang uh, Burry Dance Donkey, ano pa ba? Meron kang Borel's Monkey and now it's Schrodinger's Kitty. Kawawa naman tong mga hayop na ito. <laughs> so Tonight, Schrodinger's Kitty. So, ano nga ba yung premise nito? The premise of Schrodinger's Kitty, well, it is Schrodinger's Cat. So, I feel that galit ata si Schrodinger sa mga pusa, but I just named it Kitty for for rhyming purposes. Anyway, so the premise, pinaikli ko na lang. You can always view this at Wikipedia. So, the premise is a cat is placed inside the metal box. Within the metal box along with the cat is a minuscule piece of radioactive matter that may or may not decay within the hour. If it decays, a Geiger counter activates a hammer that smashes a small flask of acid that in turn terminates the cat. The contraption inside the box is cat proof so hindi pwedeng itamper ng pusa yung buong contraption. Lest it terminates itself earlier. Diba? The outcome will either be no decay of the radioactive material has happened in an hour and the cat is still alive or the first instance of decay will have poisoned the cat as detected by the Geiger counter. Now the cat may be both alive and dead at the same time unless you take a look inside. So whichever result or whichever it is that you see is the result. So Medyo nakakalito siya kasi uh, this thought experiment posits or tells you that in any point of the experiment or even uh, any point in the experiment before you, the observer, takes a look in the box, the cat is both dead and alive. <laughs> Sakit sa ulo. Kaya nga ako inabot ng ilang linggo. Just to, just to simplify it. Kasi ayoko ayoko magbitaw dito ng scientific uh, scientific statements without me knowing it and without me simplifying it for the audience. Ayoko na pasakit ng ulo nila. <laughs> so yun. So if you check Wikipedia or if you check other sources, there are at least seven interpretations that you can get. And each of them explains in a much more convoluted manner. Uh, kung hindi ka naman talaga, uh, hindi ka talaga career scientist, medyo mahihirapan kang intindihin. And I am not a career scientist. I am just a life coach who also knows how to handle cats pa minsan-minsan. <laughs> I will, uh, I will, I will honor it. So, among the interpretations na nabasa ko, among the seven, I can definitely say that uh, I have a mix between the Copen 
Hagen and the relational interpretation. Hindi ko na siya explain pa isa-isa dahil that will take too much time and too much brain cells on my behalf. Maluluto po ako. But, the way that I see it, the way that I understand it is, you have a pristine system. Pristine, ibig sabihin, walang nangingialam, walang contamination. So, everything that's inside the pristine, uh, pristine system, when you observe it, it gets altered the moment you observe it. So that's one. Why? The pristine system, everything inside, so, pag hindi mo siya kita ng buo, there's a possibility that inside, the state of everything there would be anything and everything in between. So, kaya nga, sabi doon sa total experiment, the cat is both dead and alive. So, buhay siya and patay siya. So, anything and everything in between exist. So, if there's matter inside, so, let's say, sabihin natin na uh, three states of matter, just to make it simple. So, sabihin natin tubig. Uh, you have a prison system and there's water inside. Kung hindi mo pa siya nakikita sa loob. The water can exist as a gas, solid, and liquid all at the same time. And when you take a look at it, you can only perceive one of the three states that the water can be in. So that's why uh, taking a view or taking a look in the prison system is altering the state. Why? Because you can only, as humans, you can only perceive one state at a time. So, sabi natin hindi mo naman titingnan. Sabi natin you'll have other forms of measurement. The introduction of a measurement, a measurement instrument, or just the act of measuring the pristine system already alters the state. So, you can only get a state that is infinitesimally close to the pristine system. Pero it's not exactly the pristine system. Kasi nga, napakialaman na siya. Just for you to take a measurement. And for you to take a measurement is contaminating that system. Nagbabago. So, in the simplest terms that I can explain it, in my understanding is, so, sabi natin you're in a laboratory setting. And you wanted to measure the temperature of, uh, if you're going to measure the temperature of water inside uh, a beaker. So, you have the system that's just there. Ngayon, you can only see. Matatansya mo lang siya kung anong, ano, is it room temperature or is it, is it actually colder? Is it actually warmer than room temperature? And if you introduce a thermometer, yung mercury thermometer. So, that already alters the state of the water. Kasi, or it already alters the state of the system because yung mismong temperature ng water, hahaluan mo pa ng isang temperature ng ng thermometer. So, ang mangyayari nun, syempre magkakaroon ng transfer of energy so, hindi ang, ang kinukuha mo na lang is the nearest average or the nearest measurable quantity of that water given at that moment. Yun yung pagkakaintindi ko sa kanya. So, that's my interpretation and comprehension of the system. Na the act of measurement disturbs the present system. So, yun, yun lang ang ano. That is the simplest that is the simplest way I can explain it. Because in itself, the the thought experiment of Schrodinger's cat or Schrodinger's kitty in this regard, ganun din. When you observe the thought experiment itself, nagbabago siya. And as a person, you can only view one state at a time. Kung saan mo siya abutan, yun yung, yun yung state na yun. You cannot view it all at the same time. That's how life works. And how can this crazy experiment relate to the mundane? So, just like your life. Diba? So, yung buhay ng tao, it's just one, it is just one, you, you can say it's just one continuous uh, event. Diba? You are marking each and every event or each and every milestone. Parang, uh, this is 
this is uh, one of the best days of my life, di ba? Nanalo ka ng MVP, you kinasal ka, pa ba? Uh, you won the lottery. So, those are high points. But, you can see that your life is one continuous, one continuous footage, kumbaga. One continuous film reel. And, no one person can actually observe everything that's happening at the same time. So, kung sino mang yung mga tao nakakasalamuha mo ngayon, ang naperperceive mo lang sa kanila, ang naobserve mo lang sa kanila is what they can show you now or what you are actually seeing now as a person. You haven't seen their whole lives. You may see parts of their lives but not their whole. So in that regard, parang kapareho ng Schrodinger's Cat or Schrodinger's Kitty. And with that in mind, since you're only seeing one part, of a greater whole. Hindi naman pwede na maging judgmental tayo masyado. ba? Because their states will still change throughout time. Their, their states will change. And so will you. So, you staying on a particular state or dwelling in a particular state when you have actually changed or trying to stay there, especially when it's not healthy anymore, that will hurt you, definitely. So, parang ganito lang yung experiment na yan. So, kung ano yung abuta namin sa'yo na state mo ngayon, yun yung masasabi namin about you. And ano yung naabuta namin sa'yo before, we can only connect the dots. But we cannot say for, uh, or we cannot state that the entire life na nasundan namin or nasundan nyo yung buong buhay ng isang tao. So, that is how I can relate this crazy experiment to the mundane. Kung sino man yung abutan mo, if they are right now, uh, let's say, as holish, di ba? Kung medyo may pagka nakakainis sila, they are probably not, uh, naabutan mo lang silang ganyan. They may, not, they may not truly be that person. Siguro yung circumstances are just not favorable for them and that's why they act out. And people who are seeing you now, na you've grown, hindi nila nakita yung part na pinaghirapan mo the part that you were that you were lashing out so give it time give it time and you will see and you will view a more representative sample of the people parang katulad lang din sa mga interpretations ng tong Schrodinger's Kitty so i hope that you've learned something for tonight alam ko medyo mabigat yung topic <laughs> So that's one meaningful content a day and this also marks my 140th Facebook live since the start of our public speaking classes. So I committed to one live a day for 20 weeks. Actually we've had more than 20 weeks dahil may mga delays but if the, the whole of the course is 20 weeks and that's one live a day. I have now accomplished 140 live videos for the audience so that you can enjoy and there's something that you can think about. Pantanggal umay sa mga kung ano namang chismis na kumakalat sa Facebook. So, ano lang. Uh, I hope that I will be seeing you again soon. Maybe next week. Don't know. Gagawa ulit ako ng bagong content. And I am grateful for Master Coach A and for my classmates who have been with me in the journey. I have learned a lot and definitely I'll be carrying this throughout my life. And to sa tribe ko na sumusuporta palagi, I will be more than present dyan sa inyo. So, ayan. And sa mga tao dyan na naghahanap ng mga kausap and naghahanap ng makakatulong sa inyo or just finding someone who can just listen to you. The life coaches are here. You can send me a message. I'll be more than happy to check up on you from time to time and talk to you. Help you process all those emotions. And if you are curious about uh, life coaching, you want to experience the magic of life coaching or you want to be certified as a life coach, do connect with us at Life Coach Philippines at 0917-586-1661. That's your 917-586-1661. And if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, clarifications, or violent reactions, do let me know at papaulakan ko po yan. I'm not saying that I'll be stopping posting content. I'll just be taking a rest for a while. Para naman makapagpahinga aking lalamunan. 
at hindi kayo tuluyang maumay sa akin. <laughs> so yan, I hope to see you soon. So I hope that you are all staying safe, cool, dry, hydrated, vaccinated, and healthy as always. So I think this is uh, one of the last videos for my daily content. So I hope to see you also in the summit on August 10 to 11. Gagawa ulit ako niyan para mamaya. So I'll be seeing you soon. Peace out.